So hello, in this video I'm going to make some aluminum and aluminum uh, tricarboxylic acid uh, and aluminum is actually used to the exact small quantities of aluminum in aqueous solutions so that's pretty cool and uh, for this we're going to need 4 grams of sodium nitrite uh, 12 grams of salicylic acid and 44 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid and uh, about 4 milliliters of concentrated formaldehyde solution it should be about 38 percent so what you should do now is you should add the nitrite uh, to the sulfuric acid slowly with strong stirring to avoid excess evolution of nitrogen oxide so here goes the sulfuric acid I'm starting off pretty slowly. As you can see, it's pretty calm actually. So, as you can see, I have added all the sodium nitrate. Mm, and now we're going to cool it for about uh, 10 minutes in an ice bath. And we are cooling it until it reaches about. Uh, 10 degrees Celsius. So as you can see the temperature is about 10 degrees Celsius and it's time to add the salicylic acid. Here we go, adding the salicylic acid. So after the addition of salicylic acid I'm now ready for the addition of formaldehyde and I have cooled this to approximately 1 Celsius and as you can see it's stirring barely, it's pretty thick and I got 3.5 milliliters of formaldehyde here and with stirring I'm going to add it in So as you can clearly see there is some dye, I have put it into a basic solution of sodium hydroxide and it, it dissolved and it kind of looks like phenophthalein actually. Yeah, that's how I will call it a success. The problem is, I have to cool this mixture for 20 hours to decrease the temperature slowly. Well, at least that's what the, the paper says, the paper is from 1938 so this is the mass after the slow cooling as you can see it's quite red and now we're going to wash it with water to clean up the insoluble dye